Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today we're gonna to talk about the blend effect for blending layers. Now this may be one of those effects that you've just never even heard of or even tried. And what it does, well, let me show you. So I've got this blend effect right here and let's actually just delete that and start fresh. So I've got this dark gray solid. I got this blending layers. And then back here, I have these, this color layer. So on this dark gray solid, let's go to Effect, Channel, Blend. And what this can do is I can blend a layer in with this existing layer. So let's come in and pick the layer, Colors, and that's going to bring that image into this layer and I can choose how to blend it in. Pretty cool, and it doesn't matter where this is located or even if it's visible. See, I have it turned off and I can still bring in that blend. And I can blend that into as many layers as I want to. So it's almost kind of like a node-based compositing functionality with this. Now there are some things that don't work so well. And that's why I brought in this shape, this text layer. So if we add that blend effect to the text layer, do the same thing, grab that color. What it's going to do is it's going to do the whole layer. After Effects sees text layers as the shape of the composition. But if we have a, say, a solid that was 400 by 400 pixels, there's the solid there. We add the blend to that. Grab that color. Well, it's going to be just the center of this colors comp. Or I can come in here and stretch to fit. And there it is as well. And that's not going to do the whole composition because the shape layer has actual dimensions while text layer just relies on the comp dimensions. So that is the blend effect. It can come in handy when you need to blend in and have texture on multiple layers all from a single source. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and we'll see you next time.